Half-Life Graphs by kscience.com. So up the x-axis, you've got activity, the activity of the radioactive source. And along the x-axis, you've got time. So the unit for activity is baccarels. And the unit for time in this case is going to be minutes. However, for half-life, the half-life time can be years. It can be minutes, seconds, hours. So the half-life of this radioactive sample is going to be 10 minutes. So that means every 10 minutes, the activity is going to decrease by half. At zero minutes, our radioactive source had an activity of 160 baccarels. So after 10 minutes, the activity will half. So after 10 minutes, the activity halves from 160 baccarels to 80 baccarels. So then 10 minutes later, the activity will half again from 80 baccarels to 40 baccarels. And then 10 minutes later, after one more half-life, the activity of this radioactive isotope is going to decrease again by half from 40 to 20 baccarels, and then from 20 to 10 baccarels, and then from 10 to 5 baccarels, and then from 5 baccarels to 2.5 baccarels in the final half-life. So in the first half-life, the activity decreased from 160 to 80 baccarels. So as you can see here, the activity halved and the half-life is 10 minutes. So it takes 10 minutes for the activity to half. So from 10 to 20 minutes, that's one more half-life. So the activity is going to decrease from 80 to 40 baccarels. So then between 20 minutes and 30 minutes, that's 10 more minutes. So that means the activity is going to decrease again by half from 40 to 20 baccarels. So between 30 and 40 minutes, that's an additional half-life, which means that the activity of the radioactive isotope is going to decrease by half from 20 to 10 baccarels. And then it's going to half again 10 minutes later from 10 to 5 baccarels. So every 10 minutes, the activity is going to halve, as you can see by the blue lines. So remember, every 10 minutes, the activity in baccarels is going to half. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. This is the problem you will learn how to solve. Press pause to attempt it. The method and the answer will follow. So the half-life of this radioactive isotope is two years. So that means every two years, the activity is going to half. So our radioactive sample starts off with an activity of 800 baccarels. So after two years, the activity is going to half from 800 baccarels to 400 baccarels. So that's going to take two years, which is one half-life. And then two years later, from two to four years, the activity is going to decrease from 400 baccarels to 200 baccarels. As you can see here, every half-life, the activity decreases by half. So then between four and six years, the activity will decrease from 200 to 100 baccarels. From six to eight years, the activity will then decrease from 100 to 50 baccarels. And the final half-life shown here is the final two years between 10 and 12 years, whereby the activity will decrease from 50 baccarels to 25 baccarels. So remember, every half-life, the activity will decrease by half. In this case, it's every two years. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Press pause to practice using those key words. The answers will follow. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. And if you're stuck, just re-watch the video.
press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. Visit kscience.com for more free videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.